Boom! Welcome back to The Perfect Bag, everyone. My name's Clint, and today we have, as always, another one-take bag review. What are we talking about this time? Well, I teased this a while ago in a community post. Make sure you sub up, everybody. You can see those community posts. This is from Ikea. What? Ikea made a bag that isn't a shopping bag. It's a real bag, and you can get it. Yeah, you can. They did. You will. You might. It is. What is it? It is. I left the tag on here just so I could tell you that it is the Verldins. This is the Ikea Verldins. Backwards, that's the Snedlarv. But uh, Ikea is uh, obviously a major retailer, usually of furniture and house goods, and uh, they have decided to get into the bag game. Okay, well, welcome to the space. Uh, you do not need to assemble this bag. It comes fully built, no Allen wrench required. You can mod this bag. This is a very interesting bag, which I would expect actually from Ikea. Um, this is designed for Ikea. It's not a rip off of another bag. They had a designer come out and make a bag that had Ikea DNA. Um, and let's talk about how they did, but first, you know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. That means you're gonna get a straight shot, authentic conversation with me about a bag. And in this conversation, we're going to do a full walkthrough. Exterior features, interior features, and at the end of that, I'm gonna give you two things that I really like about the bag and two things that I think could be better. And then we'll have a little bit of a discussion about who might the Ikea Veraldins be the perfect bag for. All right, let's get into it. So exterior first, there is quite a bit going on on the exterior of this bag. So we're gonna stay in this place for a second before we go to camera number two and look at the tasty juicy interior of this bag. So first off, you have a black bag that is a three-way, less exciting than it sounds, this is a three-way carry bag. It has handles for a handle carry. It has a strap for a shoulder carry, and it has backpack straps for a backpack carry. So you can choose your own adventure and carry the Veraldins any way that you want to carry the Veraldins. Um, we will talk about all three of those choices and carry styles here in a little bit. And at the very end of the video, don't skip ahead, but at the very end of the video, I'll wear the Veraldins in all three ways. Boom, so stick around for the three way. All right, so this is a nice little custom key pull. It says Ikea on it, and it has a black and white kind of street crossing thing. I like it, free keychain. Who doesn't like a free keychain? Uh, the zippers and hardware on this bag, well, there's no other way to say it. They suck. It's very, very cheap stuff. It feels light, it feels aluminum-y, aluminum -y. cheap. Feels cheap. Yeah. The whole bag is a very, you know, pleasant nylon. Doesn't feel expensive, but it feels like it'll hold up just fine. So yeah, nylon throughout. Looks pretty nice, I think. You've got a little pop of yellow here. So let me remove this. I'll put it back in here in a little bit in camera number two, but you got a little pop of yellow. Okay. Kind of looks like a grumpy Halloween face. A little bit. Now you can't unsee it, right? Um, so you got two exterior pockets that are slip pockets with no closure, no zippers, no anything. You could toss a bottle in there. We'll try that here in a little bit. You could toss a little pouch in there like I did. Um, you could toss all kinds of little junk in there. Um, just knowing that there's no closure, but there is very, very easy access. I like that. I think they're very nice. Oh, we got a lot to talk about back here. There is no... I shouldn't say there's no padding. There is a very thin, thin, thin padding back here. Not much to speak of. You can feel that it's there. It's just not really there. There's no air channels. There's no, I mean, it's just black vinyl like the rest of the bag. You do have minimal branding down here. You can barely see it, but it says Ikea. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the bag doesn't stand on its own. No, it is a thin bag. 
doesn't stand on its own, unless you've got something weighted in the bottom of it. Um, the straps and buckles are metal. There are strap keepers that came with it to keep your dangle to a minimum. But there is no way to tuck the backpack straps or to disassemble them or take them off. Uh, and that's a shame because if you want to use it as a tote, then you always have dangly backpack straps. And if you want to wear it over your shoulder, like this, you always have dangly backpack straps. So it is a three-way bag, but you can never get rid of the dangle of the ways you're not using, okay? All the ways are there with you all the time, um, whether you want those ways to be with you or not. That's the nature of this bag. I, I think that's what viral dins means in Swedish is uh, deal with it. All right. So I think that's it on the exterior. There is a zipper on the top compartment, but I think I can show you that in camera number two. So you know what we're doing. Let's get into it. Camera number two. Time to check out the interior of the Veraldins. Let's do it. All right. You know what they say. It's Veraldins time. Camera number two. We're good to go. It's happening. This is the bag, everybody. Take a peek. What do you think? Honestly, from the front, I think this bag looks really neat. And there's a lot of cool stuff going on. Let's check all that out. Here's that keychain, by the way. Looks pretty neat. We unzip this pocket and we've got a blast of yellow. Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Spildens. Verdens? Okay. So, what's going on in here? Well, I tossed a backup battery in there. I use this kind of as a little quick access EDC pocket. Gear, you know, as you do. But there's good dimension to this pocket. It's a good pocket. It's nothing special. There's no subdivisions. There's no admin. There's no nothing. It's just a pocket and it's fine. It's absolutely fine. These pockets are unique. So let's pop this up here and see. So I've tossed one little slip pouch. This did not come with it, by the way. This is from Alpaca but it fit perfectly. So I just boop, did that. And then in this side, put my sunglasses, my AirPods, and the Colonel Ichabod mustache comb, the best mustache comb in the entire universe. Link in the video description. But look at this. You've got a good little pocket here. Now, can you use these cool pockets for drinks? Well, my dog says hi, by the way. Let's see. The answer is kind of. Look at that. So if I slipped a bottled drink into here, it kind of fits. It's not, it's not, you know, moisture protected or anything like that. Smaller drinks will fit no problem. So yeah, you could slip, you know, a can of Coke in there, a 20 ounce drink in there. You, you absolutely could with no problem at all. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk zippers up here. So the main compartment itself is zippered, but it came with this weird little nylon, no good zipper pull, which immediately unraveled and popped off as soon as I took the bag out of its plastic. So, you know, let's try and just tie this back on. It was a, not a great first impression when this popped off. So we'll just do one of these and a quick one of these. And there we go. Zipper pull back on temporarily. What's in the bag, you ask? Well, there's quite a bit of space in here and it's kind of cool. So, all right, first off, I've got a 14 inch laptop in here. I think you could go 15, but it's going to be real tight. 13 is probably what it's designed for. You can see that uh, this tag here confirms that this is indeed an Ikea bag, design and quality, Ikea of Sweden. And what do we have in here? Well, we've got a book. We've got two pockets next to the laptop pocket. We've got an EDC wallet in one of them. Nothing in the other one right now. I've got my Kindle and iPad mini in here. So check it out. Lot of room and this whole thing is really, really light. There is, it, it weighs nothing. So 
It's very interesting. That's the interior. We've got a lot to talk about with this one. Meet me back at camera number one. Okay, everybody. That's the bag. So, this is the Veraldens Travel Tote from Ikea. All right, so Travel Tote is really the name. Veraldens is the series. There's four or five bags in the series. There's a tote bag that is larger. It's called a Weekender. There's a backpack that is more substantial. It's larger and it's got bigger straps and the straps actually tuck away to be fair on the, on the backpack. Then there's a little travel cube and then there's this one, the travel tote. This one I thought was the most interesting of the whole lineup for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's 25 bucks. So for 25 bucks, is it a good tote? Um, Cause there's a lot of totes out there and if you didn't already check out, you know, I just did a entire video on the best totes available right now. Ha! <sighs> Let's talk about it. Two things that I love about this bag, and then two things that I think need to be better about this bag. The first thing that I love about the bag is these two slip pockets right here. And so, as we discussed, you could conceivably toss a drink in these pockets, even though it's not very deep, backup battery in these pockets, zipper pouch in these pockets, EDC wallet in these pockets. I really like the idea of two easy access slip pockets in the front of the bag. It's really, really nice. I also like this keychain. Now this is a problem, right? The second thing that I like about this bag is the keychain that comes with it. I think that tells you where we're about to go. What are the things that need to be improved about this bag? Well. It's a three-way carry bag, tote, handles, and backpack. There's a major problem with that. The handles suck. They're really thin, they're eh, and when you have even more than a little bit in the bag, it's uncomfortable to hold. Okay, I'll just carry it from the shoulder strap. Well, the shoulder strap is non-adjustable. And it's very, very, very short. And so it literally is touching the underside of my armpit. Now, all bodies are different. This tiny strap might be the perfect size for you, but it better be because again, you can't adjust it. It's also a very low quality strap. Mm. Doesn't look, none, none of it looks quality except this keychain and the yellow lining inside the bag, which by the way, I do like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. So, I don't like to carry it this way because I can't adjust the strap. I don't like to carry it this way because the handles are uncomfortable. No problem, I'll wear it as a backpack. There's a problem with that. The straps suck for the backpack too. It, the whole carry, all three ways. Way one, way two, and way three, all terrible. The straps are no good. You can't make a bag where the straps are no good. So, first thing I don't like about this bag is that the handles and straps all are terrible and all are very, very uncomfortable. The next thing I don't like about this bag is that it's just cheap. It's just cheap. Is it poorly made? Debatable. I did have, you know, the the zipper pulls pop off. There are a little bit of string pops, but it's not, it doesn't feel like it's terrible. It's a $25 bag and it feels every bit a $25 bag. Now, why is this a shame? It's a shame because they could have done something better. And they're willing to charge more as you can see by charging $45 for the backpack, like 50 bucks for the weekend bag, they're willing to go up in price, so why not make a better bag? Let me tell you what I'm talking about. This is the Blue Lounge Laptop Tote, Vertical Tote. It's from a company that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, well, sorry to the folks at Blue Lounge, it's from a company that doesn't make bags anymore. But it was a bag from a company that doesn't make bags. This is a bag from a company that doesn't make bags. This has really nice handles. 
This also has a high contrast interior. This also has a very padded laptop sleeve. It has lots of pockets and options. It has a built-in nice metal carabiner. It's got leather pulls on the pockets. It's got full size bottle pockets on the outside of the bag. Like, you know, the entire bottle fits in. And it's got a removable and adjustable strap to carry it as a tote. It does have a nice zipper with a highly effective pull. Yeah. This is maybe what Ikea was trying to build when they built this instead. Now, is this redeemable? Is this okay? Uh, I think what I'll probably do is take a pair of scissors and cut off these stupid backpack pieces and then I'll try and paracord wrap these handles and see if I can salvage this bag and turn it into something that I want to hang on to and use. Um, but man, that is a problem. Okay. All right, everybody. Wow. So my advice is um, don't buy the IKEA Veraldins. I guess this probably torpedoes my chance at an IKEA sponsorship. Oh well, um, but it's not a good bag. It's light, it's interesting, but it's uncomfortable, and ultimately there are better ways to spend your $25. So if you have questions about other tote bags in this price range that I like better, um, or other small bags in this price range that I think are worth your $25 to $35, where this one I think is not, uh, drop a note in the comments. I'd be glad to talk totes. I'd be glad to talk bags at any time. Everybody, thank you so much, as always, for the love and support, and we will see you next time. Bye for now, everybody.